Hi everybody, welcome to Queers and Soaps. I'm Tommy, and tonight I'm joined by Derek and Eric. Angela. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> we are back discussing General Hospital 1992. Uh, tonight we're discussing episodes that aired between October 19th to October 30th, 1992. So I'll roll the credits and we'll get right into it. So, where do we begin? Um, oh, we opened with Robin's party still going on, which I forgot. I thought it was over. <laughs> yeah. Did she just turn 16 or 18? 16, right? 15, I think. 15? 15. Okay. Yeah. Um, Mac is still freaking out about her dress. And her hair. And her hair. <laughs> and the fact that he's just <laughs> everybody talk about how she lied and went to this party. <laughs> Friend has a bad influence. <laughs> um, we got a live performance for, by a band called The Boys Who I've never heard of I was I've never like, heard of either, never even heard that song But I guess they were an up and coming band at the time Yeah, I fast forwarded them <laughs> I was like, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward Nothing was happening, I'm like, let's get a move on I got 10 I episodes I did enjoy the earlier 90s music at her party though it, it, was, it took me back, I was like, okay <laughs> Boys to Men was one Boys I think. Men, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Derek had texted me the music, and then when I watched it, I was like, "This is what he was talking about." <laughs> <laughs> they must have bought like like five songs, and they play them like all the time. It feels like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Wicked Game is playing a lot the whole two weeks. <laughs> mm -hmm. I think there's the Jagger and Karen Dean now. It's like yeah, game. pretty much because <laughs> <laughs> um. Bill and Holly have a theme. Every time they're on, there's this weird music that plays, it seems. Yeah. Um, so then, Eric, you missed out on Antonio Sabato Jr. dancing very badly <laughs> to the boys. Yeah, yeah <laughs> probably. Because he <laughs> looks like a 25-year-old man playing 17, trying to be cool <laughs> dancing. <laughs> yeah. Is he supposed to be 17? I didn't think he was supposed to be that He's young. He's supposed to be a senior in high school. So I oh, yeah, I guess that makes sense. And, yeah, yeah, that's true. Both Antonio Sabato Jr. and uh, Vanessa Marcel were in their mid-20s when they were playing those roles. Yeah. I don't know um, how Vanessa Marcel, but, Vanessa, yeah. Vanessa Marcel looks young. Yeah, she look, I think she looks like eighteen. I don't know how, how old she's supposed to be. I believe, yeah. Damn, really? Mm -hmm. Something like that, yeah. 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 Um, mm. so that was fun. Um, I think where we mm -hmm. left off with Felicia and Kevin, they were going to go away to a cabin. Ryan. Ryan. Up, oh, Ryan. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin doesn't exist as of now. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um Apparently they're going to be secluded and they're not going to ha have a way of getting in contact with Felicia. So they mentioned renting a cell phone. I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> Me neither. <Yeah>. A <laughs> giant ass phone. Yeah, the Zach Morris one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Um, which I almost called him Kevin again. Ryan is not pleased about, but he's like, yeah, sure, we'll rent a phone. <laughs> so Ryan came on in June of that year and I'm like, when did the this stuff happen? Because he mentioned about like a year ago. And I then I'm like, it's all going on before they came back to the show. I think. Okay, so yeah, so like that what happened? Created flashbacks. I don't think they ever actually aired, but yeah. All right, uh, okay. then yeah. that makes sense because I was confused at what he said yeah. later. He said, "Oh, something about a year ago," and I'm like, "Wait, I just read that he read it came on in June." So I'm like, "How was it a year ago?" So I guess she was off screen then too at that point. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Um, Got it. I know this is your first time watching 1992, Derek, Derek but did um, Felicia and Ryan know each other when they came um, to school or came back well, to he, school? What I remember was from like doing my research was that um, Ryan followed her to Port Charles because he knew she had amnesia and didn't remember that part of their oh. interaction. So he followed her. I guess just to make sure she didn't get a memory back or whatever. I guess also because he was obsessed with her. So, yeah. yeah. Hmm. That's interesting. He's, he's Todd Wilson, obviously. And then um, 
So yeah, I think she knew him as Todd Wilson, and she actually had a relationship with him, I believe, as well. Oh wow! Wow, she blocked yeah. out a whole relationship. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Oh, I, yeah. they knew each other. I don't know if they were like together, but yeah. So the flashbacks with the wedding dress—that's Felicia in the wedding dress, right? It is. Because I'm watching it on my phone, and I'm like, is that her, or is that just somebody that looks like her? <laughs> and that's oh, why he's yeah. obsessed with her because she looks like this person, or like. I thought he was having like images of her but yeah if, i guess if they were mm. together before then i guess that makes sense it's so weird yeah it happens later during one of her nightmares but there was like it looked like there was like a masquerade party and mm -hmm. i thought i just thought this looked cool i guess it was him in the mask and there was like blood on the mask like mm -hmm. vampire almost so i just thought it looked maybe cool. that was like a year ago on like halloween like when they maybe maybe she was in a wedding dress for halloween maybe hmm I guess we'll find out soon. Mm -hmm. um, so, <laughs> I love Tiffany. I just love her. She really is breaking my heart with this mm -hmm. whole um, Lucas thing. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like the scenes where Bobby's around with Lucas, I see her like wanting to twitch a little bit. Like she's like, <laughs> she's trying to like keep her distance and like have boundaries and do what's best for Lucas. But I feel like she's like, oh, you should do this. And then she like pulls back. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so I did look up um, her sister, Cheryl, because remember we talked about, we thought she was just back for the story. She was actually on in 87. I don't know if you guys figured it um, out. Yeah, we, we talked about that last time. I think. We talked, talked about, about yeah, it. she okay. tried to pass Lucas yeah. off as Roberts. Yeah. Robert yeah, she was off. with. The, she passed the baby off as Roberts and it was Julian. So, yeah. Right, and that's and that's weird because like so I did read like she was with Julie and Jerome, and of course we all know that it's Lucas's dad. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, they didn't even mention him though when like in these episodes. They didn't, and they even like when uh, Holly was asking Bobby about um, who the father was, she wouldn't even answer. Like she kind of. So do you think it was? Do you think it was a rewrite, or do you think it was like written as his and? No, because like a, Mr. Jerome took the baby. And sold it on the black market out of revenge because. Um, of, oh, and that's how Bobby got him. Yes. That's how oh. Bobby got him. oh, right. Yeah, I did hear like uh, when you know that's yeah. what I, they were talking about. I I was like, yeah. trying to get it. So I think that eventually the truth comes out. Maybe the truth hasn't even come out yet. I don't even know. So then um, Cheryl must have just left, or or was she on like the whole time, like from eighty seven to she, where we're at? She was on and off, like yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Tiffany has it in her mind that her and Sean are just going to raise Lucas because that's her nephew. And, um, that's not the plan <laughs> that Sean had. He thought that maybe he would go to her parents, but she's like, they're too old to raise a baby. So it takes a little convincing, but he gives in. Um, every time we see Connor, I'm just... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's no. It's. I'm not trying to be shady towards the actor, but I'm like, you look so old. <laughs> like, how are you, showing son? <laughs> uh, was he on again? I didn't even. Know. I didn't even know. <laughs> he was when Dominique was back in town. She came to see him. They danced at one point. Yeah. Um, oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't care about that guy. Connor is still around. He was mentioned at the memorial service in 2021 when John Riley passed away. Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, somebody commented on our video. Oh, that was me. Oh, that was you. Oh, that was you? <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a fan, Sam. Um, <laughs> well, he is both a fan and worker, <laughs> <laughs> co-worker. <laughs> so Scotty um, gets jealous of Dominique being in Rome because he hears her laughing with a man, Italian man. And she tries to tell him that it's just like the room service guy and he doesn't believe her and he like throws one of his hissy fits and like hangs up on her. <laughs> yeah. Scotty has never changed, I feel like. He's Scotty always been the same. Very consistent. He's got a short fuse. Very <laughs> I feel like they I feel like the actor's like that in real life though. Like he's this quirky guy. Like so it's just like yeah. be yourself. <laughs> Do what you want. <laughs> this is what's gonna happen. Be you. Right. Um, I was surprised that Dominique came back to town so quickly. I thought she was going to be gone for a long time. Yeah, Rome was really fast. Time went by really fast. What was the purpose of her going to Rome? Yeah, right. Something about deception. Really worked. Yeah. That was deception. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, 
Holly, it looks like she's rented an apartment that's in the hotel, maybe? Yeah, because I remember the last batch of episodes, Julia agreed to rent her a room at the Port Charles Hotel. I almost said Metro Fort. <laughs> <laughs> there was a well, scene. future, probably, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was a scene. I don't remember who it was, but they were on the docks at some point. And in the background, there was a window for a storefront, and it said Metro. And I was like, I was like trying to see around them. I'm like, is that the Metro Court? <laughs> I was like, move. <laughs> Don't look too hard. I'm sure they've changed the scenery a lot since, since 1992. <laughs> um, so Jason and um, Karen go parking. <laughs> you know, it's really nice to see Jason with a personality. <laughs> yeah. It, it really is. I'm like... I he's like been this story, so cold. I really do. Like currently, I like his, I like him. Yeah. Well, like I just feel like currently he's just like, like he finds out people are murdered and he doesn't care. He's like, oh, they're dead. When well, like you can. Well, no, I mean, you know, I like Jason Quarterman in '92. Not, I mean, I like. Oh, 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 oh. Like, gotcha. I, mean, I thought yeah. you meant like currently. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I don't mind him, but it, he just doesn't yeah, do. It. Like yeah. he's just so like they call him Stone Cold. That's what he is. Basically. <laughs> he is. Yeah. Um, yeah, I still like him and Karen, and I like Brenda and Jagger. Like, I don't want them to mix it up. I like the way it is. <laughs> yeah. I want them to mix it up. I like the Jagger Karen thing going on. Well, I finally felt a spark with them when he yeah, kissed same. her. I was same. like, okay, here we are. I think I feel this. Probably in the same <laughs> moment you did, I felt. I was like, okay, there's something between them. Okay. Yeah. I felt it before because I feel like there was the tension there, and I'm like, just bang, like seriously, it's like annoying. Yeah. It didn't feel like tension to me. It felt like they wanted it to be tension, and I wasn't really feeling it. I felt like him and Brenda had it. more spaciness, mm -hmm. um, especially because she's like all over him, <laughs> and they have already kissed. Did you and guys notice thing. that um, Julia called him hot lips? Because the last time she saw him is when. Oh yes. yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. That's funny. <laughs> um, I gotta say, I'm not really interested in this whole art storyline. I didn't know what was happening. <laughs> I was like, what oh, is I kind of was like wondering what's going on, and I knew the lady was a con artist. I knew she was up to something. I yeah, was, I, I, I the minute I saw her, I was like, I don't trust her. She's up to something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, so uh, but I do love 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 Tracy and Marco. Love them. Oh, God, like yeah. I almost want them to have like some kind of sexual thing. I don't want them to be together. I just want them to have like constantly have this banter forever. Mm -hmm. But I like this. Not I like, be on past ninety two. <laughs> I like it. Too. No, I, he goes into ninety three. I think. I think it's ninety two to ninety three is from my what I read. So he might be in it a little bit in ninety three. I don't know how he's long. Not when Sunny comes on because he's involved with Sunny Marco Dane. Oh, he is. He oh he is. I didn't yeah. know that. Mm -hmm. I don't. The only thing I don't like is that stupid music they play, like the Pink Panther shit. The I'm Pink like, Panther music. <laughs> I don't like that. It just uh, takes away something from me. Do you me. think they I'm paid like, for the royalties for that, or it was just like? I think they're <laughs> making them making it like the comic relief story in a way, but they well, shouldn't. I did, like I did, it is well, it is a serious is. thing, but like he's. But I don't know. It's funny to watch him. <laughs> I don't think he's good at his job. I think everything he finds out is dumb luck because he never finds what he's looking for until like he's having a casual, casual conversation. <laughs> yeah, like, how does he how, like anybody could figure this out? Like, what's <laughs> like whenever he hits a dead end, he'll just be talking to somebody randomly, and then he'll find out the information that he needs. <laughs> right? It's not like right. he's like going through like records or like really interviewing people or anything. Right. Um, he reports to Tracy about Jenny, Jenny, right? I still get Jenny and Julia mixed up. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Jenny um, getting pregnant at 16 and losing the baby. Mm -hmm. And so now his new mission is to find out who the father is. Now, when the mother was like, trying to tell her not to say anything about who the father was i was like it's a freaking stepfather that touched her i know it like my mind whenever this happens i'm like the daddy molested her that's <laughs> <laughs> and angela is the mother by the way it's carol lawrence do you recognize that name? 
who I had to look her up. <laughs> I don't know her name. A, I didn't even. She's know a big kind of... Broadway. She's a big Broadway star. Yeah. Okay. I know her yeah. from an episode of Saved by the Bell. <laughs> That's where I know. Her from. And she's still alive. I think she's ninety-one years old. Okay. He was also on Sex and the City too. What was well. he on? Sex and the City as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. She was Miss Wentworth on Saved by the Bell. She was the teacher. <laughs> I didn't remember her name. Yeah, but I remember that episode. Yeah. <laughs> it was about the subliminal messaging. Tommy's like, right. <laughs> 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 yeah. I, that was driving me crazy. And I was like, I need to pause this and find out who this lady is because I know that voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't have to look it up. I knew her face. I was like, she I was knew a right away. I, I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot of times they get when they get older characters, they get them like as guest stars. So it's it's always usually somebody like pretty big or relatively known. Yeah. Um. So Marco's new mission now is to find out who the father is. Per Tracy. <laughs> um, and he's hitting a wall with that. And then he is talking to the campaign manager for the senator, I believe, Mm -hmm. who has a 27-year-old son who apparently spent summers in their family's cabin on the outside of Oregon, which is where Jenny was. Um, And he used to like to play tennis, which we found out that Jenny used to play tennis. So, like I said, he just kind of happens upon the information (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So then he tries to leverage this information to get more money out of Tracy. He wants a car. (laughs) I think he didn't want to settle for less than twenty five thousand more, and she's like, "I don't even know what this information is." No. (laughs) (laughs) Right. So, what she agrees to the money, right, but not the car. Eventually, yes. Yeah, because she says, against my better judgment, I'll give you 20. Yeah. And then he tells her, and she's so excited about this information. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's like, do I get the car? And she's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the guy that's a senator or something, right? It's the senator's son. Senator's son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay, they said he was 27. Mm-hmm. Now, I think they said all this went down in 85. Yeah, 85. That's so why I was if, thinking it was the senator currently. So if she was 16 and 85, that's seven years. So she would be 23 right now. Yeah. So that means he's four years older. So that means he was probably 20, 19 or 20. So he was mm-hmm. older. Right. Yeah. So statutory rate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah. So now I don't know why the mother would want her to hide this. Maybe they were paid off. Well, I think he's he's about this. the one who wanted them to keep it quiet. But it seems yeah, like. probably for Ned, I would think. Oh. So Ned was bothering me because mm. he... He does bother me. He just didn't want to hear her out until, like... Uh-uh. Until Tracy was gloating about it in his face, and I was almost like, in spite of Tracy, he was like, I'm trying to work it out with my wife. I'm like, are you? Because you look like you more want to talk to Julia than Ned. Right, right. right. And Ned was right. really weird about it, because like as soon as Tracy told me, he went and like spent the night with Jenny, like he didn't know, we didn't know he did know. And then the next day, he's like all mad at her. And, mm-hmm. about it. and it's right. for a gross reason. It's, it's like, very weird. <laughs> It's all because it your wife wasn't a virgin. Yeah. It, right? It, it's gross. <laughs> um, and Julia, Julia's, you know, an ear to listen to. I like Julia. I just don't like how Ned's handling this. Mm-hmm. I, I like Julia, too. But I also, she's, like, friends with Jenny and works with her and mm-hmm. knows. Mm-hmm. But she wants Ned. Like, it's kind of dick on her part as well. Mm-hmm. Because she's clearly going after him. Yeah, and I feel like she kind of, like, vocalized the fact that she is attracted to him this time around, these in these episodes. Yeah. Because she yeah. even spoke the, about the fact that they kissed once. She's very flirty. Yeah. Um, so, I know I'm jumping all around. The art show, <laughs> um, <laughs> Brenda wants to bring Jagger. And he's like, that's sounds boring. She's like, of course it's going to be boring, but that's why I want you to come with me. It's like, I'm going to liven things up. 
Oh, I also uh, fast forwarded uh, Jagger and Brenda playing pool for 10 minutes. I couldn't handle it. I was like, that was so boring. Yeah, there was something weird with the episode where like, it repeated, like we played yeah. it. It repeated. Is that what was happening? Yeah. Because yeah. I listened, I was like two minutes of it and I was just like, fast forward. Fast forward. <laughs> I don't know yeah, halfway really through that scene, it started over again and like, yeah. it uh, you know, over. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was wondering what would happen. It was, it was not ending. <laughs> I liked it because real music was playing, so that kept me engaged. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I thought it, like, what was her bet? It was like Jagger, if Brenda wins, then Jagger has to go to the art show with her. And if Brenda wins, he can have whatever he wants. Is that what it was? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Um, I thought it had something to do with the car. Because oh, she had Julia's okay. car. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> um, maybe it didn't keep me that engaged. Who won? <laughs> <laughs> I was. I don't want her, but I think Jagger let her win because there was that scene at the end where he like, you know, sunk the ball as they were leaving, and it looked like he like was pretty good at, at the pool. And I'm like, okay, I wonder if he actually just let her win. Yeah. Mm. Um, I guess we should know that this was like a CD, like I wouldn't say biker bar, but it was like a hole in the wall bar. Yeah. And Brenda was like, I used to hang out in places like this all the time in Europe. <laughs> and he's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <You're up? laughs> They're definitely too young to be in there. If, if you know, yeah, they're really seven. They're not seventeen, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> the storyline I was kind of, was really into this time was the Nikki AJ wedding, mm-hmm. even though that was just mm-hmm. kind of sprinkled in till till the end. Really, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> Alan is just like not even hiding the fact that he wants nothing to do with this wedding, <laughs> right? And yeah. Monica's more embracing it and like cooperating and helping out with the planning. She'll do anything for her sons, basically. Yeah, she will. Um, I thought it was weird that Karen is in the wedding party for on for Nikki, like she's her maid of honor. I'm like, yeah, you guys are friends. No, <laughs> I was friends. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, then I was confused by that. It was a little bit discussed while they were getting ready for the wedding because she's like, you know, I don't have many friends in town, so I'm like, okay, maybe they just talked a lot at Kelly's. Mm-hmm. But also weird that your one friend in town is in high school and you're clearly a grown adult. <laughs> like, you couldn't talk to anybody else. Right. And the whole time I'm like, where is this Dr. Eric? We saw him once flirt with Nikki. Where is he? <laughs> yeah, he's nowhere to be found. Is he a real character? <laughs> Karen gets embarrassed by her, I guess, when she's around the quarter means because she doesn't mean to, like, speak the way she speaks, but she does. But she's kind of trashy. <laughs> yeah, but Monica likes her. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Scott, I guess, officially offers her a job as his secretary. I thought we already did this, but maybe he, he just kind of mentioned, mentioned it. it. But she was kind of like, ah, oh, we'll see. Like, you know, she's like, I'll, I'll, really... like, I'll learn how to take dictation. He's like, all you gotta know is just how to say hello, hello, yeah, hello. <laughs> <laughs> is this when we found out they were high school friends, or did we already know that? Because I, that's what I just found out. We knew they went to high school together. Yeah. Okay. Um, I was secondhand embarrassed when the people that were putting together the art show were talking to Dominique and Scott about it, and Rhonda was there, and she said she had like some I don't know clown or balloon painting, and they were like, um, I think we're good, like, but thank you. <laughs> um, I like her. I know yeah, I asked I like this, too. but I don't remember the answer. Is she a drunk at this point? Um, she's still, I think she's like, goes back and forth, but yeah, okay. I think she definitely. Cause if you're going, hey, off, Rhonda? yeah, Rhonda, cause if, yeah. Cause if um, you're going off a of poor Charles story, she's always been a drunk. <laughs> well, there's a big story like 93 where she has been drinking a lot, but so yeah. Okay. So it's coming. Nikki, I can't tell if she actually kind of cares about AJ because I don't know. She seems like she cares about his well-being. I mean, granted, she does put on the fake tears when um, Mana goes around. Um, AJ talks about how she's changed his life, that he's not drinking anymore. And then him and Nikki go out, and he is about to drink. But she's like, I thought you stopped. And because she said that, he gets like mineral water for them. Mm-hmm. I feel like she could be good for them, for him. Um he has to be on his way out at some like pretty soon, like probably after this wedding. Mm-hmm. Um, 
So she's getting ready and Alan pays her a visit. She's in her wedding dress, like about to go down the aisle. <laughs> and Oh yeah, the end, right? <laughs> yeah, he says if you marry him, I'm gonna like cut him out of the will. He's like, and you'll have a small allowance that you'll live like day by day, like just to live off of. Mm -hmm. He's like, or he's like, you don't marry him, and he hands her a check, and it's for a million dollars, and she has to return the wedding ring, <laughs> which is <laughs> like a family heirloom. And you see her yeah. kind of like when once he's gone, twisting the ring on her finger. <laughs> a million dollars. So did you notice, like, in this episode, it lined up November Sweeps? Remember when they used to do that? I don't think they do that as much anymore. But it was, like, a lot of big things happened, kind of. And now that was October 30th. So then in November Sweeps, things are going to explode. Yeah. Yeah. They used well, to do it all the time on every soap, but now they really don't. Yeah. I looked it up, Derek. You said Lucy's coming soon. She'll mm -hmm. be in the, the next batch of episodes. She comes November 6th, which is the Friday of the first week that we'll be watching. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, so she'll be here very, very soon. Yeah. Um, um, so going back to Robin, Mac confronts her about lying, to, about being at Brenda's, and she's like, well, I knew if I told you the truth, you wouldn't let me go. And he's like, yeah, because you're 14. Well, you were 14. <laughs> <laughs> And she kind of throws a temper tantrum, but the next day they like have a calm conversation about it. And they kind of agree to let her make her own decisions. Dot, dot, dot. He's <laughs> trusting her, I guess. Yeah. To see how things go. Yeah. Um, she's gotten into photography uh brenda's like allowed her to borrow her camera and she's like taking pictures of everything the back of max head <laughs> <laughs> yeah um oh so I at the cabin the uh felicia and ryan have the rental uh cell phone mm -hmm. and when she's not looking he like messes with the antenna to make it staticky yeah so that they can't make or receive calls mm -hmm. and then that was funny. There were scenes where she kept reaching into the cabinet, either for spices or tea or a cup or whatever. Mm -hmm. I couldn't see what was there. And then at some point, it looked like the cell phone. Did yeah, he, like, swap phone. out yeah. cell phones? So, yeah, know. remember, she she fixed it mm -hmm. the first time when he messed with the thing. And then yeah. he decided to hide it. I don't know why he hid it there. I'm like, there's way better spots in a cabin in the woods to hide a phone right. than yeah. in the cabinet where she might go. Right. That was um. But it was the phone. He tried to hide it behind cans. And it was really funny when Matt called her on his on the cell phone. I think he was just talking to Robin. And um, it rang twice. And he goes, that's weird. <laughs> like, <laughs> <it's not laughs> twice. <laughs> Another thing, too. They said that they were away for the weekend. I'm like, it's been a long weekend. They were, they were away from like episode weekend. one. Maybe it was an extended <laughs> weekend. Because I feel like they've had multiple nights. Maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it felt like that too. And he's like, "Oh, they'll be back over when the weekend's over or something." I'm like, "What?" <laughs> um, they put me in the mood for Irish coffee when she was putting the whipped cream. I was like, "Oh, I want that." Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That was good. laughs> um, he's still drugging her because when she starts talking oh, about yeah. that, she's starting to remember some things. Yeah, or she yeah. remembers yeah. stuff from her childhood. He's like, "Oh, gotta put some more stuff in your tea." <laughs> yeah, but she spilled the one, so that's probably why her memory started coming back. Yeah. Oh right. Oh, I didn't. I didn't think that. about that. Yeah. Totally went over my head. <laughs> she spilled it, and I, I don't know. Like, I'm so confused. But so I guess he's in love with her, but he's like, I just gotta watch her because I might have to kill her if she remembers, like that type of thing. That's kind of what's guessing. going on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot going on, and, and like, and and what does he do for a living? Do we know? He's a psych psychiatrist. 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 Oh, Ryan is too. Mm -hmm. Child's oh, actress. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah. Yikes is right. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe yeah. he's a pediatrician. A, uh, like a pediatrician. He's definitely he's he, a promised to, he promised to like take her wherever she wanted. I'm like, what money do you make, buddy? Because I'm <laughs> you really to started watching it. He definitely January. works with children. I know that. I, okay. I don't know if he's either a psychologist or a pediatrician. Yeah. I guess that makes sense why he can like mentally screw with people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he knows what drug to give her, I guess, to yeah. make yeah. her memories. 
go away and stuff. So they get hot and heavy and are about to make love, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. <laughs> and she starts to have flashes of, I guess, the time in, it was Texas? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, oh, was that where it I was? I think that's me, maybe where I saw the masquerade party. Mm-hmm. Um, and she realizes that the man in question is Ryan. And I thought she did a pretty good job of in the moment kind of keeping it together, even though she kind of was like, oh, I can't do this. Yeah. But she could play that off as, oh, I'm not ready. Cause he even said, am I pushing too strong or whatever? So she could play that off if she plays her cards right. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to go. It's November sweeps. So. It's November sweeps. So I'm ha- like, <laughs> I, I've said previously, I'm sensing a hostage situation. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. Same. Mm-hmm. He does not want to let her leave. Like, it's... <laughs> especially, yeah, especially if he senses something, I'm sure he's going to be like, uh, no, you yeah. ain't going anywhere, lady. Mm-hmm. Um, so with Lucy about to come back literally in a week, mm-hmm. I'm trying to think what could happen that would be the catalyst for her to come back. It wouldn't be AJ, right? No, maybe something with deception. Okay. Oh, probably. I don't know. That's just a guess. I'm not sure. How did she get written off? Do we know? Probably overseas at deception. She left, like, she'd only been off the show for, like, nine months, I want to say. Okay. And I guess she was doing Days of Our Lives at that point, you said, Tommy? Yeah, and I think she was only on days from either April or May to, like, October. Yeah, short term. (laughs) Yeah. So, yeah, I... I think that she dumped Scotty and left town. I think that's what they what happened. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. Um, yeah, because I was like, could she interrupt the wedding? But that wouldn't make any sense. No. So we know Nikki doesn't stick around. So are we thinking she doesn't walk in the aisle? Yeah, like they can't find her and they see that she just left? Yeah, I think it's her last episode. Like next. Oh, week. really? I think I don't know. Oh, really? She gets paid off. I know. I kind of like she her. She gets paid off and leaves. Yeah, because AJ's not far behind her. This guy's run is on the silver. He got leaves in '92 as well. This is probably oh, going to make yeah. him spiral yeah. and like fall off the wagon. Yeah. Oh yeah. Did he start? Was he drinking before? I think they did mention he was drinking. So yeah, I guess he already was they, drunk. He's getting. He was drinking, but he's getting better. You know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I had always thought that Karen and Brenda were friends until I watched this, and clearly oh, no. they're not friends. <laughs> well, I know, yeah, right? They were 93. They were, mm, yeah. Uh, so yeah. I thought they were friends, and then, like, Brenda just feels so betrayed by Karen and Jagger that they had this thing. But, yeah, yeah she's playing. very, they, they both snipe at each other constantly. Yeah. Well, Bre- Brenda's a dick. She, like, makes jabs about her mother and. Mm-hmm. Her being poor and <laughs> so I'm confused about the art thing too. So somebody was at the end and they're like looking at like the whoever donated them and like was taking them, I guess. So this guess lady's a con artist, whatever her name is, Constance. Jones, right. Her name was yeah. She and then somebody set up to steal them, I guess. Well, she convinced them all to donate the uh, artwork at that meeting at the general hospital. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like worth millions of dollars. Yeah, mm-hmm. and um, she had the art show, and then I'm sure she's planning to steal all of them. Right. Her and her crew. Well, we there. know that um, Bill paid, what, $2.5 million mm-hmm. for his yeah. painting, it, which was not what it was worth, but that's what he paid. Um, and then I Brenda's worth 750000 Yeah, we found out that Brenda was left a painting by her father that's worth Seven hundred fifty thousand. Mm-hmm. Um, well, she doesn't have access to it until she's twenty five. Twenty five. <laughs> now she's in the art. She's like, oh, who knew these dusty old paintings were worth that much? <laughs> right. She's got to wait a long time to get the money. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, although, does she have access to her trust fund now, or is it when she's eighteen? No, I don't think she has access to anything. Julia gives her an allowance. Yeah, yeah. but when she, but will she when she turns eighteen? Like. Don't know, I'm not sure. Hmm. Do you know what is Paul's history with Jennifer? That's driving me crazy because he is in love with this woman. And I'm like, when did he fall in love with her? <laughs> like I'm so confused with this. Um I he must have been involved know. before he knew Tracy. Yeah, I don't really know much, but like all I know is that Paul was working for 
the cartel that was Julia's father, Dominique's ex-husband, and Jesus. <laughs> Jason and all that. Paul was working there for, for them for a while. And then they convinced him to marry Tracy to get access to her money. And I think that's how they're married. Oh. And, and well, that, that makes sense because he doesn't like Tracy at all. That, wow. that I was going to ask, like, so yeah. Tracy seems like whenever she sees him, she's like, oh, my handsome husband. Like, she seems like she's into her husband. And he's like, what do you want, Tracy? Like, he's yeah. just always like. <laughs> I, see, I was right. I had a sense that Paul didn't really like Tracy. Like, oh, I, yeah, I sure doesn't. last time I met him, he's not really into her. And I wonder why. But so I had Dylan together. So. But now they have a kid together. So I think he's trapped in this marriage with Tracy. So. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so uh, one one morning when Tracy was all like, "Hello, my my darling husband," and he's like, "What?" <laughs> 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 he mentioned that he took his daughter to school. So Dylan has a sister. She's by yeah. his first marriage, and then Susan. I remember him mentioning Paul uh, in later years, who was played by Richard Berge in the later years of the show, mentioning Susan a lot. So, oh right. Yeah. Susan's the mother. Oh yeah, right. Sister? Yeah. Susan's the daughter. I don't know who the mother is. I don't think she no knows. relation to Susan Moore, right? No, no, no. Okay. Um I like um the Scott Dominique, I like their storyline. I think that, you know, I'm starting to really like them together. Yeah, me too. And when did um Scott tell Jessica that he wasn't going to be a partners with her in the law firm? Because I must have missed that. Because he mentioned Perfect. Dominique on the phone that yeah, I told Jessica I'm not gonna I forgot. I had a question about this guy. I don't know who she is. Where'd she come from? <laughs> is she a major character? She um she and Scott dated, I think, before Dominique. And she's okay. a lawyer and he was kind of using her to get back his law status because I think he got disbarred. Uh, yeah. He's, again. He's I think he's been disbarred like <laughs> Yeah. And, <laughs> and she was the one who threw the drink in uh, his face and she's like yes. at the art show. Yeah. Yeah. She was the one that was in the bathroom with Dominique. Yeah. Talking about how Scott came on to her or whatever. And she's like Wow, well, like she was gone, yeah. She's like, you she's like you just, Dominique was like, You sound like sour grapes. Yeah. Just, <laughs> yeah. He's really, really bitter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Scotty. Like, I don't know what it is. Scotty does this thing to women and they just get really angry and bitter. <laughs> they you know, it's the truth. Like I, I remember like we were watching eighty three. And like Susan was after him, um, mm-hmm. it was almost like they were setting up for him to get shot or something. Yeah. Um. Um. What's her name? Oh my God, she's still on. Mm-hmm. Uh, Robin Matz, Heather. <laughs> yeah. Um, like they were setting all of this up because like everybody's yelling at him. Janine Turner's character, Laura, mm-hmm. the other Laura, <laughs> was like, and I'm like, dude, he's such an ass. Like this guy. <laughs> But they didn't really do anything with it. I don't know if they changed storyline direction or what. But now he's up Luke's ass where I'm at. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. Then, um, I loved Ryan and Felicia playing Clue. That was hilarious and very. Awesome. Yeah. That was great. Miss Scarlet with. The- <laughs> I love Clue. It's one of my favorite games and one of my yeah. favorite movies. So I was super excited. Was the art show the pediatric AIDS benefit, or were they setting that up? They were setting that up. Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be coming up, I guess, then. Yes. Maybe yeah. February. Okay. February, sweet. Because I heard, I did, did mention that. Oh. Is that what they were meeting about? Roughly? Yeah. Okay, that's what I, and I did like that scene because it brought a different amount of characters together, like Julia and Dominique and Tracy, and like people that wouldn't have scenes together, have scenes together. And that's what I like about 92. I guess that was the board. Yeah. The yeah, hospital the board having meeting. I, See, this is the point where I was thinking, where's this Dr. Eric? And then I kept thinking maybe the blonde guy was Dr. Eric. And I'm like, no, he seems no, to be. He's, no, he's, <laughs> oh, I guess he's not coming back. <laughs> that was funny that, like, Tracy lied about Marco being on the board, on all the boards and, like, everybody's calling her on it. They're like, I thought Marco would be here. And they're like, yeah, uh, Paul she's, it, and she's like, yeah, like, I talked to some of the members and they don't have any, like, knowledge of marco and she was like oh it's a different project that we're working on she's like we do work on multiple projects <laughs> ned questioned her too and he's she's he's like oh yeah she, he's not on that one <laughs> <He's> like, oh. <laughs> i did enjoy all of tracy's snarky halloween references for the wedding she's like we should hand out halloween candy 
<laughs> okay, so this, is my, this is my favorite Tracy moments from these episodes. I wrote them down because they're classic. Uh, she walks into uh, Kelly's and says, "Ruby, don't you have someone to bust these tables?" And then Ruby snaps back, "Don't you want to? You want to fill out an application?" <laughs> <laughs> I missed that line. That's that was cool. great. <laughs> and then the other one was um, when. Um, Reginald comes to her and says, the caterers are here. And he's like, where should I send them? And she's like, caterers means food. Food means kitchen. Send them to the kitchen. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I like her little spar with Monica, too. Monica's like, yeah. don't come to the wedding. Like, she's like basically trying to kick her out of the house. <laughs> she's like, no. And they did Get out. the whole Get out thing with uh, the senator because Tracy made a donation to his campaign and invited the family over for dinner. So that's that'll be fun to watch. Did Jenny yeah. hear that? Was no. Jenny like in the background? Like Jenny doesn't know. No. Okay. Mm. Surprised. Because I can't remember the exact quote, but um, Tracy's definitely baiting her because mm. she'll make comments like, "Oh, it's such a shame," you know to get pregnant that young and you see jenny kind of being like <laughs> in the I jenny Tracy about the whole you know why did you tell ned like and but she still doesn't seem like how did tracy find out like she's not questioning that yeah and paul's comforting her because he's yeah so her. <laughs> well, i feel like tracy's like yeah like, her own purpose she's just driving jenny and paul together right I don't know, <laughs> but I'm liking it, and I want to keep watching. So <laughs> yeah, it's fun. I do want to get tr see Tracy get like punched out, though. She <laughs> get on my nerves sometimes. Oh, and the other thing is, Jane Elliott leaves the show in '93 as well. Oh, she does. She goes yeah. to the city. Yeah, well, <laughs> not yet. the loving, right? She goes. She leaves, and then she comes back in '96, and then goes to the city after that. And then goes to her off on. From GH, yeah. But all right, anything else before I wrap this up? No. All no. Right. Well, thank you for joining us for another two weeks worth of General Hospital 1992. As always, you can find us on all the socials at Queers and Soaps. And until next time, have a great night. Good night, Bye. Everybody. Bye.